Hello, this is Customs House by James Barnett, just across the road from Circular Key Station, uh, which is uh, basically op right next to the uh, Opera House and the Sydney Harbour Bridge. And in this video, I'm just going to go through some of the sites uh, around Sydney and the use of the swastika or the filfot pre-World War II. And that the point of this is that it's um, quite an important and, and, in fact, a very ancient symbol, but uh, up and until World War II it was a very uh, common symbol to see and uh, traces of it can still be found well across uh, Sydney and especially in the uh, some of the more important um, uh, architectural sites now for instance Customs House uh, sea trade would have been very important to uh, the building now it's even got this little plaque here the Philfot um, explaining the various uh, meanings um, or some of the uh, meanings to it. Uh, basically, in in Sanskrit, uh, swastika means well-being, or, or like it's a good luck symbol. But Macquarie Lighthouse, also by James Barnett, that was reconstructed from an earlier uh, lighthouse by um, Francis Greenway. But uh, important to note as well. So again, we're seeing the use of the swastika now, just like Customs House, the lighthouse was also important to uh, navigation and well, shipping uh, especially and some of the suggested origins of this are uh, very much connected to well yeah uh, navigation especially to movement of the sun and movement of the stars my personal um favorite is that it represents the big dipper as it moves around the pole star uh, now in the ancient world it was uh, in the northern hemisphere it was everywhere uh, all through time all across the cultures it's been uh, transplanted to the southern hemisphere where the pole star is not such of an issue uh, just next to the Macquarie Lighthouse we have the uh, um, South Head General Cemetery so much symbolism in there uh, but I just want to focus on this one particular stone and as we can see here as well it uh, the geometry again is with this uh, focus of the uh, swastika at the centre. Uh, hundreds of, of like ancient sites across the world, but this is just uh, focusing on Sydney. So we have Martin Place in Sydney. There's two Commonwealth Bank buildings. Commonwealth Bank no longer op occupies them, but the one on Martin Place in the corner of uh, Pitt Street. Uh, externally, the swastikas are. Um, are dominant symbol and especially above the entrance ways as well. Now this is only one of two Commonwealth uh, Bank buildings in Macquarie Place and we'll have a look at the other one but just some still shots where you can see so we have uh, uh, clothing retailers a few other shops have set up so that's the COS there but uh, again above the door and as we have these fingers it's always interesting how on a certain set of numbers these types of buildings loaded with this symbolism tend to be yeah on um, very luckily on harmonic numbers but now this is the second of the Commonwealth Bank buildings in Martin Place this is between Castlereagh Street and uh, Elizabeth Street uh, again you can see also has ionic columns as the other ones there are smaller Corinthian and some Doric columns inside so we have the three main schools of architecture but uh, around the outside uh, that's one of the swastika patterns but it's also on the mouldings on the inside of a building as well as being uh, on the ceiling as well so we have uh, three swastika uh, locations uh, for within these Commonwealth Bank buildings the on George Street Sydney just a short distance down from Town Hall St Andrews Cathedral Queen Victoria building uh, we have the Dimmicks building and so if you go up and to the sixth floor uh, so you know um, you won't see them on the ground floor yet only on the sixth floor do these appear and again it's uh, uh, quite a few of them and again these buildings all predate uh, World War II and the Nazis and Hitler so it's a bit of a shame that this it's been connected to this one particular period when it's in fact a very important uh, universal symbol going back uh, through the ages and another nice little thing so this is the ground floor um, as you enter the Dimmix building and as you move up it has these uh, the sacred geometry uh, motifs and and symbols as we move up 
through the floors until of course till we reach the uh, fifth floor and then we um, you have a fifth floor here with the checkerboard and then we finally get to in the fleur de lis and till we get of course to the sixth floor and the uh, fuel fight or the swastikas which are there now the Hermes uh, store chain is one of those exclusive sort of fancy shops uh, all the major cities uh, this design does not predate World War II. The Hermes, each of the Hermes stores install this store. This is part of their uh, corporate branding, um, marketing, and again, and it's especially important because they're one of the few companies which can get away with using this symbol and not be uh, attacked. Now, short distance from my house down in Green Valley, we have this uh, Buddhist, uh, sorry, Hindu shrine in the front of someone's yard and uh, the before and after now because people misinterpreted that uh, the, the filfot, the swastika they've changed it and removed it but this is how it was until uh, a few months ago now sticking with the Hindu so in Liverpool again not far from my house we have the Asari shop and here they sell uh, we see the Sari and and how, how important this symbol is um, in Hindu and still being you can see it in uh, Sydney uh, also not too far away from me is Weverell Park where they have uh, one of the larger Buddhist temples in the area of, uh, uh, and again we have multiple references so uh, ancient Buddhist statues you'll see the swastika on his chest very very common and again the decorations uh, in and around the temple uh, have many swastikas so the, um, uh, moldings on the outside of the door carvings but also on the main bell there it's one of the um, dominant features so uh, Hindus and Buddhist uh, temples and uh, merchandise let's say in in Sydney as well as uh, new retail stores which use this symbol as well so uh, especially that for instance the Hermes store is post World War II and of course the ancient uh, sacred architecture which originates from the ancient world.